welcome to today's tutorial so in this tutorial we are going to look at questions on um, logarithms yeah and indices so we're going to see how we can apply logs to solve equations and uh, how we can apply indices to solve equations all right so if you have not yet subscribed to the channel click on the subscription button and, if, and then if you have any questions feel free to contact me using any of these lines on the screen okay so these are very simple questions let's quickly begin okay so the first question is so the first question okay let me just do this okay so the first one is uh, 2 to the power x then we have plus 2 times 2 to the power negative x being equal to 3. So this is a very simple and straightforward question. So what we're just going to apply here are the rules of indices and then when finding the answer, of course, we'll need some applications of logarithms. Right, so the first thing that I'll do is I'll change this part because we know to say according to indices, if anything is um if anything is in the format of um a to the power negative or anything raised to the power negative one is just the same as one over um a then if it's um for instance uh a to the power negative two this is just the same as one over a squared yeah so we're going to apply the same concept here so i'm going to write the two to the power x there and then we have plus then we have a two times then we have this negative x we can write it as um, we can write it as um, 2 to the power x in brackets and then to the power negative 1 such that if you multiply this x and negative 1 you get negative x there then you say this is equal to 3 so we say 2 to the power x plus then we have a 2 there then we simplify this so this 2 to 2 to the power x is raised to the power negative 1 so 2 to the power x is raised to the power negative 1 we write it in this format we're going to have so there's a times there 1 over 2 to the power x then we say plus oh sorry equals 3 then from there we can simplify this so we have 2 to the power x plus 2 times 1 is 2 then over 2 to the power x this is equal to 3 so to make our work easy uh, because if we solve this uh, equation the way it is it will be a bit long because we're going to write it means that we're going to write a lot of things so to simplify it we're going to equate this 2 to the power x to a variable so I'm going to say let 2 to the power x be equal to y so if you have something like that means that where there's 2 to the power x there we're going to replace with y so we're going to say y plus 2 over y being equal to 3 so now if you have a question like this it's now easier to solve because if you want to get rid of this y the denominator means that we are going to multiply the whole equation by what by y so we're going to say y plus 2 over y is equal to 3. So we multiply everything by y. 3 times y, or let me start from this side, y times y, this gives us what? y squared. Then 2 times y, it will give us 2y over y. Then this is equal to 3 times y, we're getting 3y. And then this y and that y will cancel, meaning we'll remain with y squared plus 2 is equal to 3y and then we can pair the like terms or rather we can take everything to one side so we're going to have y squared minus 3y then plus 2 is equal to 0 so this is now a quadratic equation meaning you can solve it using factorization or completing the square method even the formula method if you if you are able to use it yeah so uh, solving this, we're going to find the product, the sum, and the 
um, the factors. So the product, we find it by multiplying the coefficient of y squared and the constant. So the coefficient of y squared is 1. 1 times 2, we're getting 2. Then the sum is simply just the coefficient of y, which is negative 3. So the factors, these are numbers such that if we multiply them, they will give us the product. If we add them, they will give us the sum. And these two numbers are simply negative 1 and negative 2. When you multiply negative 1 and negative 2, you're going to get positive 2. When you add negative 1 and negative 2, you're going to get negative 3. So this is how you solve it. So let us now finish it up. So we have y squared. We replace the factors where there's uh, this part here. So we have negative y, negative 2y, and plus 2 is equal to 0. So factorizing this, we have y minus uh, 1, mm. and then minus 2, y minus 1. And then we find the common factor here. So we have y minus 1 is common. Then the remaining part, you just put them in brackets as well. So we have y minus 2 in brackets being equal to 0. So from there, we can say um, we can equate this and that to 0. So we have y minus 1 is equal to 0 and y minus 2 is equal to 0. So when this crosses the equal sign, you have y is equal to 1. Then when this crosses the equal sign, you have y is equal to 2. So now the question was asking us to find the values of x, not y. So how do we do that? Remember, we said let 2 to the power x be equal to y. So we're going to recall that at one point we said y is equal to 2 to the power x. So while there is y, we're going to put 2 to the power x. So we have 2 to the power x is equal to 1. And then we have 2 to the power x is equal to 2. So now to solve this equation, we're going to introduce lean on both sides. You can either introduce log or lean. Yeah. So if you want, you can just use the rules of indices to solve these two equations. So the, the general way of doing it, or the, the, the simplest way of doing it, you can just introduce lean on both sides. So when this x comes down this side, we're going to have x lean 2 being equal to um, lean 1. So lean 1 is a special log, which gives you 0. Then when you divide lean 2 on both sides, lean 2 on both sides, you get the solution as x, this and that will cancel, is equal to 0. So x, the first value of x is 0. Then the second value of x, this has the power 1. So you can use the rules of indices here, which is going to be, um, um, if the bases are equal, it means that the powers are also what? Equal. So since the bases are equal, meaning x is equal to 1, the, the powers will also be equal. Yeah. So if you don't want to use this, you can also introduce lean on both sides. So we say lean 2 to the power x is equal to lean 2. So when this x drops down, we have x lean 2 is equal to lean 2. So when you divide by lean 2 on both sides, we are going to have the value of x as this and into that 1, this into that 1. So this is just the same as using the rules of indices. Yeah, you still get the same answer. All right, let's quickly move on to the next question. So the next question is, um, this is question two. This is 3x e to the power x, then plus x squared e to the power x is equal to zero. So this is a very simple question, unless there was just a mistake when typing the question. But this one is a straightforward question. So let's quickly uh, do this question. So the first thing that we do when you have such a question is, um, since we have the same variables present on both terms, what we can do is we can factor out what is common. So what is common between this term and that term? We have x e 
to the power x and then whatever remains when you remove on from this term if you remove x e to the power x you remain with 3 and then from this term when you remove x e to the power x you remain with what x and this is going to give us 0 so since everything has been equated to 0 it means that you can equate x to 0 this x here to 0 and then e to the power x also to 0 then the other part in brackets can also be equated to 0 so x is equal to 0 then this part we can solve it so how do we solve this we introduce lean on both sides so we say lean e to the power x is equal to lean 0 mm -hmm. so this x can drop we have x lean e is equal to lean 0 so what is lean 0 lean 0 is undefined so since uh, lean 0 is undefined meaning this has no solution so this part has no solution and then we have the first value of x as 0 let us find the other value of x so when this 3 crosses the equal sign you're going to have x being equal to negative 3 so the two answers are these but even this one is important just to show that you know what you're doing all right so let's quickly move on to the last part of the question so So this is also a very simple question. So now the question is how do you solve such a question? It's a very simple one. You don't have to stress. The first thing that you do is you pair the like terms. So this one goes to the other side of the equal sign. This side on the left will remain with 3 log uh, 2x. So the most important thing when you are dealing with logarithms is to know the rules of logs. Yeah, so I have a video that I explained almost all the rules of logarithms. So if you need it, you can just inbox me. I'm going to give it to you. So it's a very simple, uh, it's, a ve it's, it's a very short video where I've explained how to apply them and how they are formed. All right, so 16 minus 4 will give you 12. So we have 3 log 2x being equal to 12 and if at all you need extra lessons i'll be offering uh, i'll be offering extra lessons during the holiday feel free to inbox me and then i'm going to uh, i'll see how i'm going to help you yeah so i'll be offering math and physics yeah so feel free to inbox me and then we'll see how we're going to move together yeah so here what you can do the easiest way is if you want you can take these three to the top part there yeah so it can so I'll, I'll use two methods and then you are going to get whichever that you think is easier for you so you can first divide by 3 divided by 3 then you will remain with log 2x being equal to 4 then you convert this to indices so when you convert this to indices you are going to have uh, we said uh, I mean according to the log rules according to the rules of logarithms any log that has no base here it means that it's in base 10 so we can say 10 to the power 4 10 to the power 4 being equal to so this is always the power so the base will remain the base and then what you have this side is the power and then you equate it to what is there is equal to 2x and then the value of x gives you 10 to the power 4 over 2 which can also be simplified as 10 to the power 4 this gives us what 10,000 over 4 oh sorry over 2 which gives you 5,000 as the solution so the other method following the rules of logs I'm getting it from here we have 3 log 3 log 2x being equal to 12 so what you can do is you take this 3 to become the power there. So you have log 2x to the power 3. So this is just method 2. You can just choose between the two methods that I, I have shown you. So this was method 1. 
method two. After simplifying it to this extent, then you take this three to, uh, to, to become the power there, and then you say this is equal to 12. Then from there, we know that this is base 10 because it has no base there. So it's in base 10. So we say 10 to the power 12 is equal to whatever that you have there, which is 2x to the power 3. And then from there, we can find, from there we can find the cube root of both sides. Okay, let me not write it from here. So we find the cube root of 10 to the power 12. Even this side, we find the cube root of 2x to the power 3. So the cube root of um, this to the power 3, simply just the same as cancelling the 3 out. But the mathematical way of doing it is simply by saying, okay, we know to say, if we say a to the power 1 over 2, this is just the square root of a. If we say a to the power 1 over 3, this is just the cube root of a. So we're going to say 10 to the power 12 in brackets. So the cube root of this, it means that we're multiplying it, but I mean we're raising it to the power 1 over 3. And then this other side, you also do the same. So we have 2x there, then we're raising this to the power 3, then we're raising it to the power 1 over 3. So when you do the multiplication, 12 times 1 over 3 will give you what? So I'm saying 12 times 1 over 3. That's uh, 12 over 3, which gives you what? 4. So this side will remain with 10 to the power 4 being equal to. Then 1 over 3 times 3, the 3 and the 3 will cancel. I'm saying 1 over 3 times 3, you are going to have 3 over 3, which is 1. So this and that will cancel, meaning we're just going to remain with 2x is equal to 10. So this uh, this part which we have reached here is just the same part that was there. Yes, yeah, so you can say x is equal to when you divide by 2 divided by 2 we have 10 to the power 4 gives you 10,000 then everything divided by 2. So when you divide 10,000 by 2 you're getting 5,000 as your answer. See, see the solutions are the same. Alright, so this is how you solve questions. In case you have any questions or you want to join my online um, lessons or oh, the extra lessons that I'm conducting and the ones that I'll be conducting during the holiday, feel free to contact me using any of these lines on the screen and um, you can either give me a direct call or inbox me on WhatsApp. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification button so that you don't miss out the videos that I'm going to be posting. See you in the next tutorial video. Shalom, shalom.